All right, guys, good morning. Good morning, guys. So it's the next day, we're back in town and we're getting ready to offload. So this time we're doing something a little different. Um, we're landing the fish ourselves. We're gonna have these halibut custom process. So we have to weigh the fish up on our vessel and uh, submit our fish ticket, debit the, the poundage from our permit, and then we'll go to the plant and drop them off. So normally this would just be done at the plant. They'd take all the fish off and weigh them and do the paperwork there, but we're doing it here off our boat instead. So we'll get started here. We're gonna pump out our tank and get a scale set up and get ready to start weighing some fish. Yep, sounds good. Oh, it looks nice and chilly down there. Nice. Yeah. Nice big halibut. Nice fish. Fisher off to the processor. He's gonna custom process it for us, cut it up the way we want it, um, package it, vacuum seal it, flash freeze it, and we'll have some halibut and also cod and rockfish available for sale on our website. And that is at eisalaska.com. Yeah, so if you're interested in buying your fish direct from the fishermen, super high quality, they're great price. Check us out. Yep, you know where they came from. Full disclosure, check out our channel. Yep, you know how they were handled and taken care of and no middlemen, no waste and 
Great Fresh. product. <laughs> yeah. yep. Fresher than fresh. Fresher yeah. than fresh. spreadsheet I made for uh, tracking our our net weight which is deducted from our IFQ balance on our permit and it also gives me the round weight which I use to figure in our caught by catch and so it's a nice setup I just tally up all the, the sets and enter the number here and then all these just have formulas plugged in to do the math for me so I don't have any uh, any paperwork errors it also gives me the total number of fish, which was 62 in this case. And uh, looks like we got 62 here on our offload tally, so that's a good thing. So now I also have another spreadsheet. That's my offload tally and same thing. I'm going to enter the weight for each individual fish here and just double check it, make sure it looks right. And up here on the total weight with ice and slime and the total retained weight, it'll give me those values. And then I can enter them into my e-landings fish ticket and generate a fish ticket and an IFQ receipt. 
so we'll start doing that next. get out our card reader we use this to scan my permit card it's got my information for this fishery on there we have to buy one of these for every fishery that we're involved in renew it every year so everything's electronic it's really easy you just scan it and the e-landing is online um, updates everything real time so the moment we submit our fish ticket this will debit off of our account so so if you guys are interested this is what the e-landing looks like it's a joint effort between <clears throat> alaska department of fish and game the iphc and noaa fisheries so noaa fisheries manages all our federal fisheries outside three miles iphc uh, manages uh, the halibut fisheries in the u.s and canada and then alaska department of fish and game of course manages Alaska's fisheries so all of them are kind of involved in this because it's a federal fishery but it's also prosecuted in state waters and now we can start <clears throat> a landing report and it's just gonna ask some basic information like the gear code that we used which is long line gear hook and line crew size ob observers on board larger vessels have to carry an observer part of the time to document bycatch and other scientific data. This allows for the day we be began fishing, how many days we fished, the day that we land the fish, where we land it, uh, registered buyer number, which we need for halibut, discard report, which again is for larger vessels. We're exempt from it because we're under 40 foot, or actually it's under 60 foot for this, I believe. So yeah, not required, less than 60 foot. So we'll start plugging in all this information. Let's cross our finger and hope that this saves correctly. And report saves successfully. So that's a good thing. If it shows a red line here, that means there's an error and that's not good. All right, well, I guess that about wraps it up. We'll head over to the processor and Oh, half hour or so. They wanted us over there by 9.30. So we'll head over there in a little bit. Maybe they can get us off early and we can get this wrapped up. Looks like the boys got everything done outside. They got everything scrubbed up and cleaned up and trash hauled off. So get our fish off and we're done for the day. What are you doing out here, Skippy? <laughs> nice, beautiful. 
beautiful morning, huh, Matt? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's nice. Nice and cool still. Not yeah. hot yet. <laughs> still time to do stuff. So we're over at the plant now. Uh, I guess we'll, uh, we're just waiting on uh, Ian to drop the tote down. So uh, yeah, we got them all weighed out and stuff. That went good. Dad got the paperwork all finished as you saw. Nice, beautiful fish. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, the net. This motor works good, just like the other one. Nice. Yep. Nice no. and smooth. No more having to swap it out, huh? Yeah. How'd your uh, pulley work on the level wind? Better? Yeah. It wasn't squawking, huh? Yep, it was good. Yeah. Good. Looks like I could stand to probably build this up. Maybe I'll just like forget about rebuilding this whole thing and just build that up again. <laughs> it's all wallowed out. <laughs> Not wallowed out, but it's got a lot of run out on that pulley. Yeah, and the inside I think from, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think when it got stuck. It, yeah, it got cut. Yeah. Yeah, two for 
one right there. Single drip of slime. I forget what year that boat's built in, like nineteen seventeen or something. Yeah. Or maybe it's a little later in there. Here's our buddy on the Marona. Old wood boat. Was that the mailboat in Homer? That used to be the mailboat that ran between Homer and Soldovia. Yep. Just to back up? Yeah, I was going to say, as I wrecking ball that hook in your face. <laughs> All delivered. Uh, just getting a quick shot of fuel here. Nothing really much to it. Just, uh, this is our main fuel tank over here for the main. The other side's pretty much just the stove and the generator most times. So yep. usually just takes uh, I don't know three gallons. This is usually the most we take, but yeah, pretty much depends. unless we do a couple trips back to back. Then we might tap into the other tank, but. We pretty much just run off this one side. Yep. Because the fuel management's really easy on here. Yeah. So, pretty much all there is to this. Uh, nothing really exciting, but share it anyway. Yeah. So, we burn like, oh, usually about 1.8 gallons an hour. Maybe two if we push it a little hard. And our average long trip is probably 40 hours at the most on the main so we generally don't exceed a hundred gallons on a fill up. And we're just kind of out here. It's gonna be like 50 gallons I guess. Yep. So yeah that's about it here. Uh, we'll head back to the dock after and I guess we're done for the day. Okay guys, so I guess that's everything. Whole process of a uh, halibut long lining. Yeah, we're all finished up. Boat's cleaned up, ready to go. So, just go enjoy this nice day, I guess, and figure out what to do next. Yep, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Yep, see you next time. Bye guys. See ya.